It's funny that in a place called Hope County, there are fanatics that believe the end of the world is coming. The Seed Family. They're nothing more than a doomsday cult. Promising salvation from the collapse to anyone who devotes their life to the cause. Those that try to harm us will suffer. Now, we can't have the four horsemen of this so-called apocalypse trample all over our town. Repent, you sinners! That's why you need to spark a resistance. Fight back against these maniacs. Jacob Seed runs the north with a heavily armed militia, forcing disciples to convert through control and fear. Then there's John, the self-proclaimed Baptist of the Valley, using intimidation to break you physically, mentally, and any other way he can. Let's try that again. Their sister Faith, drugs and traps her victims like lambs to the slaughter. Aiming to keep you in line and out of your damn mind. And finally, of course, the father, Joseph Seed. His followers see him as a savior, a visionary. But he's hell personified, as far as I'm concerned. So I don't care how you stop him. Just get it done. County is our home. Don't let those bastards take it. Not without a fight. Montana, big sky country, the treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious, militant, I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state, built right here, under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Friends, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Ow. Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the Father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Change 
change your mind. So we can turn this bird around. You want me to ignore a federal warrant, Sheriff? No, sir. I want you to understand the reality of this situation. Joseph Seed, he's not a man to be fucked with. We've had run-ins with him before. They haven't always gone our way. Just sometimes. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. Yeah, well, we have laws for a reason, Sheriff. And Joseph Seed's gonna learn that. Pratt, open a call with dispatch and for White horse to dispatch, over. We're approaching the compound, Nancy. Over. Roger, Sheriff. You still planning to go through with this? Over. We are. Unfortunately, still trying to talk some sense in our friend, the Marshal. Over. All right. Lucky I'm not there. Get into any trouble, you just let me know. Over. Ten four, over and out. Maybe we should have brought Nancy along with us instead of the Proby. These Peggy's wouldn't fuck with her. Pratt. Why do you keep calling them Peggy's? Project at Eden's Gate. P.G. Peggy's is what the locals call them. You know, they started off harmless enough a few years back, but now they are armed to the T. Yeah, you know, they're looking for a fight. Are you scared, Sheriff? We're here. Compound's just below. <sighs> oh, my Jesus. This is a bad idea. Last chance, Marshal. Church. Stick close. Eyes open. These folks can spook easily. Rook, on me. Stay loose, huh? What are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Nancy. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much up here. They'll respect a nine millimeter. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet marshal. Good call. why we started the project because we know what happens next they will come they will try to take from us take our guns take our freedom take our faith we will not let them sheriff come on. we will not let their greed 
or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sure. There will be no more thing. suffering. I'll find it. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are. The locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built! We knew this moment would come. And we've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was White Horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Sign up. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away. Let's go. Take point, it's going right. On it. Stay on the path, rookie. Back up, back up. What are you doing? Everyone, keep back. Rookie, keep up. I am a federal marshal. I'm ordering you to stand back. Everything is 
just fine here. I don't need to call anyone. Breath Father. Praise be to you. Dead. We need to find those sinners. Ahead for the lumber mill. I'll be waiting. I need some.
think I lost him. I see a uh, trailer nearby. It's connected to a long bridge. I'm gonna try and get inside. If anyone's still out there, listen. If anyone's still alive. Sorry, I thought they got you. Come on, come on. Come on, check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus, I had no idea. Putting his whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it. We're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then. We're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these... Okay, shh. There's a 
You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it, for years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Fuck. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation.
Eli, you there? Eli, can you hear me? This is Dutch. Are you ready to work? I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's gotta be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're gonna do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Be careful out there. It's crawling with Peggy's. Those fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath that's leading them. Deputy Hyde!
thought I was done with that. Thanks. These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I... Come on. You don't want to do that. These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away. that's been squirreled away. 